Hi, my name is Dan, and in this video, I'm going to uh, give you a quick uh, tour of the Unreal Editor, the basic uh, default editor in which you can edit your um, uh, your environments. So um, let's get cracking. There are some obvious things across the top here. There is a few. Uh, uh, menus, there's a toolbar here uh, with some tools, obviously. Uh, and then here is a viewport window, and this shows you uh, the contents of your uh, of your world that you're editing. Uh, so I want to focus on a few things here. There's a whole lot of buttons across the top. Um, so let's start from, uh, from this end. So uh, there's some options here. Uh, I'm not going to go into those. The next one is uh, this chooses several different uh, viewports or, or views. So you can have a, a top view, uh, perspective. Um, actually, rather than use that, I tend to use, if you go across to the top right of the viewport window here, there's uh, a button which looks like a kind of Windows type button. And if you click on that, it gives you four standard views. Uh, there's the view that we've been using down here already, which is a perspective view, which has got lighting and all sorts of things uh, going on. And then there's um, three wireframe views. You can change the way that they're rendered, uh, but they're uh, not perspective. They're not as if they had a camera there. Uh, this one's a back view, and this one's a right-hand view. This one's a top view. So these are more architectural type views. And at the moment, they're set to be uh, wireframe to make them easier to look at. If you want to use one of those uh, as the the main view, you just click on the maximize here, and it brings it to fill the whole viewport. Um, we can change this from wireframe to lit or something, but actually, uh, wireframe is pretty, uh, pretty useful for these architectural views. Um, at the moment, all we're going to see is the wall that's on the outside uh, of, the, of the level. So I'm going to set that back to wireframe. These uh, views are particularly useful, I'm going to zoom in, if you wanted to place things accurately in your level. Um, and sometimes you, uh, you're going to need to be in these views. Uh, I tend to not use them very much. I think it depends on the kind of project that you're going to be using. Uh, so I'm just going to click on that and go back to the uh, this view here. There we go. Right, so <clears throat> um, also there you've seen we've got various options for how you show the, the environment that you've got. So you've got lit, you've got unlit, which uh, gives you kind of very bland grey look. Uh, you've got the brush light, uh, sorry, brush wireframe, which uh, shows you the outlines of things that you're using. Uh, and there's a few other choices here, but those are the main ones. Um, you've also got a show button here, which gives you choices of the things that you're going to show within your scene. Um, and there's a whole lot of tick boxes here. Um, so, for example, if I click on the collision, which isn't shown, it will show us some extra lines, which show the, the collision bounds for the, the objects that we're going there. Um, so, the, then there's a default. Uh, right, so. Um, we've got uh, across the top right here various choices as well. Uh, so we'll go from um, uh, from right to left. Why not? So the first one is the camera speed. Uh, so by default, that's four. If you click on it, you can go much slower. So as I move around the world, much slower. And it depends on what speed you want. It depends on the scale of what you're doing within your world and how much you want to be zooming around. This one's I'm now set that to very high, and it's really quite hard to control. So let's bring that back to the default of four. And uh, which I'm quite used to. Uh, so the next one is, uh, uh, when you're placing objects in the world, you've got a, a snap to grid, and it gives you the scale of the grid. Um, which is that's set at 0.25. Actually, that's really quite small as a grid. So um, a, a quick word then about Unreal units. 
when you have positions and other things in Unreal, it uses uh, degrees for angles, and for uh, lengths, it uses centimeters. Uh, so one Unreal unit is equivalent to one centimeter in the sense of these objects that you can see here. Now you can mess about with that and you can make your world twice as big if you want and uh, say to yourself that um, that actually your Unreal unit is half a centimeter. Uh, it's up to you how you do with that. But most models that are made for Unreal are, you, are working on the principle of one unit equals one centimeter. Um, and so our snap to grid is 0.25 of a centimeter, which is really quite fine at the moment. Um, and that switches on the snapping. Of the, of that snapping. We've also got um, snapping uh, for rotation for objects. Um, and I'll be showing you how to manipulate objects in a different video, but just to quickly show you that, when you rotate this, it's doing it in um, increments of 10 degrees. And and it works in degrees. Again, we can switch that snapping off. So if I do then, uh, then that snap to the 10 degrees is going. Um, and we can literally change what we snap to. Um, and this is uh, editor surface snapping. Not quite sure what that is, but this is for when you're dragging objects around. Uh, so this is for. Um, uh, placing objects, and this is for moving objects around. Uh, this is about the difference between world and local object space. Uh, let's not worry about that for now. And the final three across here are, once you've selected an object, uh, are the ways that you can uh, manipulate it in the world. So there's uh, move, which is that one. There's rotate, which we'll just see, which is that and there's scale, which is that one. And I'm going to show you how to use those in a, in a separate video. Right, so let's uh, move over to this side over here. And we've got the place actors bit on the left hand side. And we've got various choices here beside it. Um, so, what this gives you is a, a bunch of things that you can put into your world if you want them. Um, and we've got the basic stuff includes things like a cube, so I can drag the cube in from there. Um, the lights gives us lights, obviously, and various other things here. And then at the bottom, you've got all classes. And if you know something's in there, but you don't know where it is, then uh, you can click on the all classes. Um, this is typical of Unreal, is that they have these search boxes, and you can start typing in here, say I want a, uh, a cone. Um, just type cone and open that up uh, around the world. And then you get rid of the search box there. So that's a, um, a tool which will give you a whole load of uh, default elements that you can put in your world. And it calls them actors. Anything that you can put in your Unreal world is called an actor. Okay, so let's move on. So the next area is this area down the bottom here. Uh, we're just going to zoom in on that. And uh, this is called the content browser. So you're not going to get very far if you're just limiting yourself to these default objects that we had uh, up here on the left-hand side. Uh, and you're pretty soon going to want to be bringing in your own assets, your own models, sounds, uh, and all sorts of things. And so within your project in Unreal, there is a folder called content. And Whatever is in that folder, if it is available to put in your world, appears in this content browser. And it looks like a file browsing system. <coughs> Excuse me, because that is exactly what it is. Um, and you've got some fairly straightforward navigation tools. You've got uh, the path here. So if you go to the top of the content, um, in this project that I've got, I put the starter content in, so there's a folder for the starter content, I can double click on that, that opens that up, it gives me all sorts of little things that we can have here. Um, and you can also add new assets in here by right-clicking and choosing the asset that you want, and it's a zoom out for that. So you see that, and there's a whole load of choices here. And, those, and you can also create new folders to, to organize your stuff. Uh, generally, I'd say, uh, if you can, 
be quite organized about your folders and think about that before you create an asset. You can move assets around between folders, but it gets a little bit fiddly at times. And Unreal can be a little bit uh, leery about dealing with things that have been moved. So better to uh, keep things static and be organized beforehand if you can be. Right, so that's the content area. Um, uh, next area we're going to go to is this area at the top right here. Uh, so let's zoom in on that. Uh, this is a thing called the World Outliner. Uh, and what this does is it has a list of all the actors, which is all the objects that are inside our world that we can see in the, in the viewport here. So you can see in this example, there's a whole lot of stuff that's already in there. Uh, I've put in this cone. Which I did just, oh, just really click on that. Uh, so that's the code. If we go back to the well, that, well, that's been selected. If you want to select any of these objects, um, we can find it there. There's the cube mesh, uh, etc. And you can see that some of them uh, are inside folders, and you can create folders up in the world outliner as well. Um, and when, in a in a future video, I'm going to sh show you how to manipulate objects in. In the world, and I'll show you how to do um, parenting and childing and uh, uh, various things like that as well. Um, and then finally, down the bottom right here, for any uh, let's zoom out again. For any object that we select in the world, let's select for player character. Uh, there's the details pane, which gives us a whole load of information about that object. And the information that appears is dependent on the object that you select. So if I select that simple cube that we put in, it's got fewer details, and that is still quite a lot of stuff. But if I select the play character, um, and this allows you to uh, not only view these uh, details, but actually make changes to them. And I'm just sliding that with my mouse pointer, um, and it's changing the position of that object there. Uh, and there's a whole load more stuff here, and there's a whole load more videos which will cover some of these things uh, that's coming up. So that's a quick tour, as a quick uh, recap. We've got uh, a viewport here. We've got choice of viewports, uh, which we can choose from uh, from here. And uh, we've got default built-in objects that we can put in our, our world. We've got the assets that have been added to the project that can be uh, dragged into the world from down here. We've got a list of all the objects that are in the world up here on the right-hand side of the world outliner. And when we select any object, uh, we've got details pane down on the right-hand side where we can uh, look at stuff and maybe alter some files there. Um, so uh, that's it from me for now.